The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, I'm Dr. Chapman here on this Thursday. If my voice is cracking a little bit and my tears and my, my eyes are tearing up, there's a good reason for it. We're looking at the Dow up eight points at 35,775. I had said to subscribers this morning to my opening call, we, we are long, we are long everywhere. We've got a bunch of me along the, the S&P, along but I want you to add to our long position in the Dow Diamonds, which we still have a position from, a core position from uh, the low that was made 23rd of, April, of uh, March of 2020. We went along uh, the Diamonds via calls, and then we kept the calls, but we also added the, uh, from two, just under 211, in the Diamonds, DIA, the long, one to one along the, the Dow, we added a core position there, and then we took some off, and we've kept that core position all the way through. But in between, we've traded short, long, short, long, short, long. And today I said we want to add to the long position in the diamonds, my exact words, or they weren't words, they were type words. Let me just type that in the right place. Whoops, that's the wrong place. Um, on a, the diamonds were trading, let me show you something here. This is pre-market. So the diamonds were trading pre-market in the 358. They hit about 358 level. I said to buy the diamonds and long under 354.50 with a 2.50 stop. So I watched it. I saw them diamond. The diamonds pulled back. They went to the 355 level, and then they went to 354. Uh, 90, and I thought, oh boy, I got a feeling we're going to miss this. Oh, geez. And then it dived down all within the first two minutes. It dived down to where? 354.62. It's trading right now 357.64. We missed it by 13 cents. Um, that is, that, I mean, it's not that it's upsetting. Of course, it's upsetting. But when you do your homework and you, you everything's looking fantastic at um, 8, even 8.15 in the morning, 15 minutes before the um, CPI report, to, to have the tenacity to stick with a, with a plan that I'm kind of proud of. I'm just upset. It would have been really nice to have had this as a trading position just to add on to everything we've got uh, because all we had to do is move to the 356.50 area and we've got ourselves a real good safety net. You can put your stuff for a nice profit and that's and let it just play out and it needs to play out into next week. Ah, oh, that is upsetting. Anyway, that's the story. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Sorry, subscribers to my opening call. Uh, I, I do know some of you had put it in uh, close to that area, uh, but that's not the point. The point is that uh, on a purely technical basis, the newsletter missed it by 13 cents. And <laughs> what can I say? Look at that V-shaped pattern. Look at this. You know, in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're always looking for peak Ds. Well, we got our peak D in the um, E-mini right there. This is the 10-minute uh, chart. It went right to the high of. 4583.25 twice and then it pulled back peak d she gave it a little bit of a pullback right down to the low today of 4512.50 where is it now 45.72 now my expression has always been for not years but decades that everyone says the market hates uncertainty and i say no every single day the market has uncertainty what it hates is uncertainty about uncertainty so for a little while now i've been saying look the market knows that that yields are going to go higher 
So that's not a surprise. Maybe the speed is a surprise. The market knows that there's inflation. So that's not a surprise. It's the speed of the surprise. So as long as the market is building in an expectation that it can climb a wall of worry, that's, that's really the principle that I'm going with right now. At some point, everything's going to come together and say, oh, look at this. And the market will pull back and hold a decline for a little longer than an hour or what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Not the point. The point is we've got a buy signal to a buy mode in the daily chart. We're above the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. We've gone to a peak C. The, mag the stochastic is now at 88%. We love that. The MACD is positive. We love that. The 9 yesterday closed above the 14. That's what I said to subscribers. That's a big positive. And we should try to push into the 35. I, I'm suspecting the real issue is going to be how, if we get there, how do we deal with Dow 35,900? All right, enough with that. With the Dow, let's go on. We've got the S&P came back beautifully. Uh, it's only down 10 now after being, oh, what a, what a turn. Look at that. We're almost through the nine period moving average, except for one little thing. If you don't use these techniques, and this is what I discuss, discuss with subscribers all the time, look at this. You've got the MACD positive. The stochastic finally went to 80%. On balance volumes, not good. And that says, well, we've got to make a decision. Is the on balance volume getting to get to overbought level? Or is it telling us to be real careful now? I don't have to make that decision just yet, because what I'm waiting to see is finally, will the S&P get to the 45, 95, 42 level or higher to start leg C? And as we speak, the nine has finally crossed over the day's young. It's a daily chart, so we can't talk about it as a final thing. But we've got the nine period moving above the 14 period moving average, and that will be a good sign. The day is young. This this kind of explosive move to the upside should have another big disappointing slide, but not anywhere like the earlier one. And then if we start to rally into the close, that'll be a very good sign. So as I say, the day is young. We're, only, we're not even 45 minutes into the, the trading day. Let's see what happens. Now, this is going to be important. Look, the QQQ has come back really nice. It's down $1.74 at 365.03. If you look at the daily chart, it's just a terrible laggard. But it is holding. Uh, the MACD is good. Stochastic's weak at 67%. And the 9 period moving average is trying to get above the 14. It's stuck at this 200 period moving average. Can it break out? Oh, what happened to the trend line that I drew there? Uh, this trend line right here. Oh, that's right. That would be from there to we're going to take it right to there. So we're, we're just above the resistance of the Chapman Wave falling axe formation. And that's a good sign. But basically, we're looking at just for fun. We'll do this because we haven't got a position here. Now, this is a good sign. ARKK Innovation ETF is trading at 77.06, up 96. Uh, it is at 77.48 as a high. Uh, it needs to get to 77.57 stars for leg B. And it's a double leg B because it's also peak A right here. So that'll be a good sign. If we can do that, Daisy, yeah, um, we're going to be watching this. Um, yeah, help by Twilio. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Twilio, T-W-L-O. Uh, wow, look at that gap. Gap to the upside in leg B. That is a good sign. Uh, it says that, that in this rotational market, uh, this is what we're looking at. Let me just do this quickly. Disney, oh, look at that. Up up nine at 156. Now, I've been saying for a long time, Disney is one thing, but six, this is six flags entertainment. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Five votes back, Dow's down 68, SP's down 18, Dave's young. So what I, I just a whole bunch of questions and emails came in. Let me just uh, get my thoughts straight. This one is important because it's an option. So Sid wants to know Pfizer. Basil, please, I have March in the money options, but you didn't tell me the strike price. Um, and I, that that's a big deal. And I, I actually, you know what? I don't and I don't need to know the strike price. I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking at. <coughs> Excuse me. Pfizer just made lower lows and lower highs, and lower highs and lower lows, I like to say it that way. The dreaded H pattern has gone underneath the left side low, uh, just about at 50, and now it's stalling. I, Pfizer is one of those stocks that is really news driven because they keep having products, uh, it was COVID, because it's just a whole bunch of things. And then something goes wrong or it's not quite right or it's just not quite in the sweet spot uh, of the medical situation as we see it and it makes lower lows. I'm very, it's 50. Oh, oh so in the money, 50. So at this particular point, uh, my question will be, uh, if you are in the money, I could be so wrong with this because you'll look at me and say, wow, we still got three, four, five weeks to go, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, that I would not, this is one of those situations where you have the options because anything can happen in between, but it's going into options expiration, that's the most important thing. And I don't think that at 50, and we're at 51.17 right now, I would want the risk of this closing under 50 in the next couple of days. It could make it, it could go to 46, and then by, what is this, March, so we're looking at, uh, the 18th of March. Oh, that's a long time to go. Wow. And, and this does fit in with the uh, dividend and the more conservative type of portfolio that some of the fund managers might have. Okay, let me do it this way. On your risk tolerance, and it depends on how many you have, I'm going to suggest to you that I want, I would watch it because if at any point, uh, you got to give it at least one and a half points. That 50 level is important. So if it goes to 49, you'll be underwater. And I'm just going to say to you, because you're playing options, 
and I have to say play because it's really a game. We, we, we don't know, but you have to strategize in your strategy. Let's just say you've got the options. You are anticipating that it's going to go at least you want to get to over the 14 period moving average of 5283, you want to get to 53 something, so you can start making a decision. So this is all I'm going to say is that part of what I would have for the options, if you have enough, I would, I would have a stop on the options based on the action of the cash Pfizer. So just give it a number and if you start, if you are now in a losing position and Pfizer is getting close to 50, I would just, I would take a little bit off. In fact, if you're asking for my opinion, I think Pfizer is going to rally, but doesn't rally from the 46s and then come back to 51 over a period of two weeks. I'd just be a little careful. It's not been a favored stock. It's got a peak F in the, in the weekly. It's got a peak E monthly. It's struggling. So I would rather have that cash and put it back to work at a lower price. Just wait. And if you want to be in the money, see if you can get the 47 and a halves at the same price in the money. That, that would be my preference. But if you want to hold them, then I'd keep a fairly tight stop on part of the position. And the moment it starts to climb and it can get to the 5230, that's where you're going to say, oh, this is great. Now it's going to. No, it keeps failing. I would take off a little bit, make it make a kitty, get yourself um, or a, a, a G7 says, hey, that's not a, not a bad idea. Go to June. I think by June you'll see something different. But at the same time, I'm just saying I would take profits as it moves higher and try to keep within the, the profit range that you make, try to keep a proportion of the uh, the uh, calls that you have. And that's the way I would do it because it's got a lot. Look, it's got to go over the 14 period moving average. It's got to go over the nine period moving average. It's got to go over this long term inside track repellent zone. There's just too much to do. This is not my favorite stock that I'd be looking at. I, I'm just going to, I know you didn't ask for this, but I am just going to have a look at Merck. they comparable companies, although they do somewhat different things, but they are in the big, big pharma. So let me just put MRK here. MRK. Yeah, it's also not great. It's got the 200 period moving. Yeah, this is a tough thing. I think the farmers are doing, they're not doing as well as they should. So that's what I'm saying. I think I, I'm going to conclude with that. Next thing is um, a TRV. Yes, I know I said to subscribers that the, the, um, the insurance companies, travelers, look at this all time high as we speak at 174. Wow. I mean, they've just been on fire. I think even Pru, which is really not just insurance, it's in the financial area. Look at the all-time high, up 120 at 124, up 285 today. This, when people say this is a tough market, it's a tough market if you're in the wrong things. If you're in the right things, you're looking around and saying, gee, what's everybody complaining about? But it's really difficult to be so selective that you've been able to pick all the right sectors. And that's a big deal. CF was another one. I've been for subscribers. I wanted to get back in. It did make that leg D at 75.49 all-time high. Does it pull back a little bit? Well, this is really nice action. Even if it pulls back, is making high highs and higher lows. CF Industries, Holdings, Inc., Hydrogen, Nitrogen, Clean Energy, Fertilizer, Emissions Abatement, just the work. Uh, and nice CLF was another one. This is in the steel, uh, flat roll steel. Look at that move today, up 2.71 percent, up 57 cents to 20. These are all been on our list for my subscribers. And what I was saying before is, look, Disney. I've been saying Disney's one thing, but they've got this whole media conglomerate that that you've got to be thinking about. So I I loved Six, which is Six Flags, uh, which is trading right now at 47.04. Broken the uh, weekly uh, to a leg C, broken the, oh, oh, no, this is actually a leg D. So it gets an alternate count, and that becomes, uh, you take the left side high, and you have to continue the waveform alphabetically. Very simple. Um, and what's really important about this is that it's a much purer play, as far as I can tell from everything I can read, of Six Flags Entertainment Core. And it's gone, look, a straight line from the 36s to the 47s. Um, this is this is the way that I'm looking at the, the overall market and saying, be selective. Try to pick um, in within a sector. Try to pick either the best of the best or the little um, or the little 
what we call the um, pilot 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 lights. Those pilot stocks. You know what you look at when you're looking at a, a shark or a whale, and you got all those little fish underneath. You want to grab one of those little fish if they show themselves to have the same per percentage moves. For instance, look, here's Marriott, all-time high. Whoops, M-A-R. All-time high yesterday, having a great turnaround today from a big sharp drop. Marriott International, why is this at all-time highs or just about all-time highs? So what I did for subscribers, I said, we're going to find, I, I don't want to get the same percentage gain or almost the same percentage by paying 170 something dollars when I can pay something like eight dollars, eight and a half dollars for something that could have almost the same percentage gain. Let's just do it that way. We'll try to conserve money for those big flights. So we've got a smaller uh, uh, hotel uh, that stock that's been very nice, but today it's up 0.82% and Marius up 1.2%. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Yes, in the, in the Tiger YouTube, I'll get to Snap to talk about it. And in the Den, I'll, I'll get to the growth in stocks. Um, and we've got uh, some in uh, United Kingdom. Hi, good morning. How are you? Hello, good morning, Basil. It's Mazam. Yeah, I'm Mazam. How are you doing? I'm good, very well. Thank you very much. So, first of all, con congratulations on calling, uh, uh, you know, the move uh, in the stocks. So, that's great. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate that. 
Okay. So, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a little bit about CF. Uh, you you were looking at it earlier on. Uh, I was on the call, just holding. Uh, but maybe we can look uh, take a look at Tesla instead. So we're looking at uh, CF Industries, right? Yes, yes, yes. It has nice moves. It moves up and down five percent in intraday at sometimes. So the big thing I'm looking at here in certain stocks is the character. I always believe that it's really important when analyzing phases of the market to also look at stocks or indexes that show particular characteristics. And the characteristic that I've been talking about for quite some time now is how does anything that you, any tradable that moves, how does it pull back from a major top and then come back and retest that top? Do you get the double double top pattern? Does it break out? What exactly is happening? Well, 74.77 on CF industry, CF is a symbol, on the 28th of December was the high, and it dropped sharply to the 63s. That was on the 24th of January. It turns around, and then it goes in a stair-step way, walking the 14-period moving average. You'll see this little black line here, and it goes peak A, pulls back to the line. Peak B, a huge peak B, goes to a new uh, um, high, and then it pulls back a little bit, goes to a C, pulls back all the way to the 14-period uh, moving average, and then over the last two days has a big move up, and today's high is 76.23. Now, I like to think of stocks as in the characteristics that they show. And if you look at the weekly chart, look at this beautiful stair-step move. Strong move up, big pullback to the 14 period moving. Big move up, same thing. So it's replicating in the macro the same pattern that we saw in the, in the micro of the, da the daily. But if you look at the monthly chart, look at the same thing happens. And now the MACD in the monthly is very, very, hasn't even turned down yet. The histogram, well, the monthly is still young, but the histogram is still moving up. Stochastic's at 88%. I love that. On balance volume did pull back, gave you that little bit breather. And so far, and the nine is way above the 14. So the monthly chart says CF Industries is in a a buy mode in the monthly chart. That doesn't say it couldn't turn down very soon, but this is where it is. The daily chart says, wow, that's exactly the same thing, except the stochastic's kind of lagging at 78%, uh, but still, it's walking the lines and it's moving to higher highs. So I'm going to do, do one of two things. Not what you asked me. I'm going to say to you, in a long-term position, until CF Industries actually breaks 10 points lower, breaks 70, uh, 64 support, I would consider that this is in a longer term buy and hold mode. On a very short term basis, the speed with which has made this peak B uh, pulls back, then peak C, and now a leg D in the same th uh, three bars and it goes to new high, three bars again and it goes to new high. The symmetry of that, I always, I, as many of you know if, uh, who are subscribed to my opening call, I treat symmetry as a big deal. Well, in this particular instance, I think that we're getting close to a, a, a more sideways move that unless CF Industries over the next, today's Thursday, by Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday morning, if there is a 77 read on, on CF Industries, that's exactly what you want to see to say, hey, I've now turned the whole 72 to 70 area into support. This is a big deal. But if it stalls here, it can stall and go sideways while it takes a breather after such a big move. So I don't know if that's explaining what I'm looking at clearly enough for you. But basically, yeah, remember, great. I think... That's great. Yes, it's, uh, it's given me your, uh, your perspective, uh, how you're looking at this one. That's great. Okay, good. So c keep in mind that on a shorter term basis, it's gone from the V-shaped pattern. Now it could make a cup formation, just uh, arching over... Uh, I'm sorry, you can go from a V-shape to an arch formation. And it still says that somewhere in between the... the I'd even make it a little different. I'm even going to say between 70 and 68 could be a short-term digestive phase for this. But so far, I really like it. Um, I like the fact that it's in an area... I mean, let's face it, hydrogen, nitrogen products, clean, for clean energy, fertilizer, emissions abatement. I mean, it just sounds great. So that part of it suits the, the mood of the market and uh, the fact that um, it has 
used every uh, opportunity to make a new recovery high and now an all-time high. I just want to see, is this an all-time high? Because I do remember if it was a participant in the big rally now. Uh, yes, it is making a new time. I was going to say the rally in 2014-15 with all these products we had. Uh, the, the different, um, I'm trying to think of the names of some of them, uh, Pot, P-O-T, Potash. We had a whole bunch of these just screaming. Well, this is now above the all-time high that was made back in July of 2015 of 70.32. But it is got the H, it's got the, the W pattern. It looks, it looks like a pair of uh, reading glasses. Here we go. It's got this pattern here. I used to call it something else. I'm not allowed to anymore. The other one was most appropriate. So now I'm going to do this. There you are. And it's, went, it's gone to a higher high. So it says that it's in a rising, uh, a rising trend right now. It could have a little bit of a digestive phase, but I, I like it very much. So I hope that helps you. That's great. Thank you very much, Marshall. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, so, folks, a couple of things. I, I wanted to just do this because it was also um, Snap is really important, the fact that it's moved up $1.37 today at $41.68. Now, I drew this in and I circled this little, this little, if you weren't even looking, you would say, oh my goodness, look at that V-shaped turnaround. Wait a minute, that, was, that wasn't the V-shaped turnaround because look, there was this gap, huge gap down. I mean, what a whopper. Uh, it has a high on the 2nd of, July, uh, of February at 30... 34.25, and the next day it has a low of 24.32, and now it's at 41.70. So this is really good action, and this is saying to me that there are a lot of people out there, um, there are a lot of people that are uh, considering that things are just horrible, horrible, horrible. But if you go to, if you go to extremely overbought stocks that are, are still very good companies. Let's just have a look at Square. Uh, Square is now Block Inc. Yeah, what a name, Block Inc. Square was good. Square, Block Inc, formerly Square Inc, point of sale software and managing the receipts. Look, a nice move up, but let's face it, it's been smashed from 289 down to 99. I mean, 60 something percent decline with a doji candle uh, three weeks ago, and then just took it out a little bit at the 99.50 area. So let's just say uh, you're looking at the market and you say, "Oh my God, what is there to buy?" Well, look, if you haven't, if you if you if you have money that is wanting to be put to work, you can put a stop in here. It's so oversold; it should have a decent balance in 170. You put yourself a three-point stop, and you can see it maybe just even test the 130 left side. Well, that's six points. No, what am I saying? I'm just, that's 13 points. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back, and we're going to discuss a bunch of things. But it's just one thing before I go to Mike. Uh, I want you to just say, snap, the question was, where, where, where should it go to? The left side high of the 12th of January of 44.34 is key. If by Tuesday of this coming week, it's gone above 42.78, touch 43.10, I think that would be the target. But what's really important is that the, the people that sold right here with this huge volume, I believe that this is what I call the Chapman Wave. Um, I, I have a, a name for it. And I like to describe it. And that is Climax Volume Low. And that says within 52 sessions, there should be much higher highs and it should not come back to this low. And if it holds through that, it can go on double that to uh, 50, 52 sessions. I'll talk a little bit more about it maybe tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's go to our caller waiting patiently. <laughs> Sorry, we've got uh, we've got Mike. Mike in Ormond Beach. Hi, Mike. How are you? Basil, I'm doing great. Um, Basil, I, um, with what's going on now and with the anticipation of, you know, interest rates and yields rising, um, what – what is your opinion of places we should be looking to get into? I, I've been trading um, XLF, and um, I've been mostly like short-term trading that. But uh, in your opinion, what are some other things we should be looking at, um, you know, if, if the rates do start to climb? So that's a very complex question. There's a very simple answer, and the answer is, we, you, you mentioned the spider the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund. We are long for subscribers. We are long. One of the bank stocks done fantastically. But at a certain point, the expectation that yields are going to help uh, the, the financials, you've got to expect that that, uh, that modus operandi is going to change a little bit because it could also impact negatively the financials for other reasons. So in the right. shorter term, what you want to see is forget about talking about inflation or, or interest rates or anything. You want to see the XLF trading, not just popping once, but trading, I'd say 4133 in the 43 to 44 area. If it does that and holds for one week, That'll be really good. I think we're getting close to some kind of potential to see whether there's a double top or not. Now, that's number one. So in other words, the theory has always been that higher rates help the financials. That is true, but then there's another part of that that can actually be um, a hindrance. So I'm just saying, let's try to keep that as a separate theme. The other thing right. is, in the inflationary area, look, the DBA, which uh, uh, this is DB Agricultural Fund, which has soybean, wheat, uh, corn, sugar, and a bunch of other, has a little bit of oil. It has a whole mix. Uh, is trading this single leg up from the low that was made. Uh, DBA is the symbol. It's trading up now 17 cents at 21.35. But the low that was made, that candle on the 27th of January at 1992, 
So this is, you know, this is a percentage wise, this is a big move. But everything about this is suggesting that it could be getting a little bit toppy. That's not right. to say that it's going to top. I'm just saying this extension should have some digestive phase. So normally I'd be looking if there's some inflationary aspect, I'd be looking to see are the commodities helping with inflation? Well, if we're looking at food, I mean, I don't know where they get their numbers from. I don't know where they shop. But there are things that I was looking at just the other day that maybe a few weeks ago were, say, in the $2.50 range. It's just easy. They just pop it up to $3.10 or $3.20. Some, of, some products have even doubled. So there is inflation. How, do, how does it come down? You can't put inflation. I'd said for a year now, I've been saying, when the Fed finally has to deal with the genie that comes out of the inflationary box, my experience has been that that's kind of tough to do. Only a recession really does it. And at this particular point, you can see how this market is trying to anticipate, come back to, to normal, normal civilization here uh, with, with the COVID relaxation of the rules in all these different states. So that creates its own mix. So let me get back to, I just want to show you something here. This is what I show subscribers to. I'm opening call on, on Saturday or Sunday. I'll be doing it this week on Sunday. I'll be out of town. So um, look at this. The yield and the 30 year is at 20 2.97, 2.2. But look at the way you over, almost have an overlap in the 10 and the 5 year. So this creates another problem uh, for the general economy. So what I'm saying is that unless we can't constantly see, we, I spoke about travelers, just insurance companies at highs. I spoke about different areas. I spoke about Marriott, the, the, the resorts, uh, hotels and resorts. So you have to almost think of this. Look at this chart. It shows wood, the iShares of the Global Timber and Forestry ETF, rallying towards the highs. It shows the um, Philadelphia Housing Index holding this beautiful triple bottom low so far. So the breakdown that you would normally see, especially with news, and I have a question here saying, uh, Hi, Basil. If you mix technicals with the fundamentals, I think you would agree that today was a huge data point with the CPI biggest increase since 1982. But the Dow only 80 points, uh, down 80 points, that was when he wrote it, is now down only 14 points. Um, that, that points to good as a good signal for the market to absorb the Fed rate hikes in 2022. Uh, translation, forget about the Fed and keep buying the markets, question mark. And I would say yes, but you've got to be selective and you've got to have one foot hovering over the break because if today's low was held and at this particular point, we were down 250 in the Dow, down 34 points in the S&P. I'd say, you know what? It's going to take a little bit of time to digest. But as long as the market is finding places to go to, and I think that answers your question. I think in a sense, what you're really saying is, what can we do when there's an interest rate hike? And what is historic? Mm -hmm. This is so unhistoric because... Normally, when you get this kind of inflation, there are other things that are going with it, and it kind of impacts a big bunch of, of market sectors. And my, I'm, I must go back and check, but my recollection is that you would get just GIS, that's general foods, you would get all these so-called safety stocks, the, 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 the generic, let's call it, uh, food and uh, items that you can, bathroom items, Procter & Gamble, that type of thing, they'd be at the lows, hinting at recession. So this is a really big mix. And what I really am saying is that I think you have to set aside your fear of what can happen and only deal with it when it starts to happen. So if the Dow at 35,700 right now, by Tuesday, if we were looking at Dow, we don't know, down below 35,000, and the S&P at uh, 45.84, if it was down at 44.84, I would say, you know what? We've got a real problem. This is different. This is a lot of fund managers that are, the fear fact, I mean, Larry Pizzaventa in his show has been showing some fantastic shots. I've, I've, I've copied a couple of them. This one here is amazing. This is investor sentiment uh, fearful, I can't remember who we had at the time, um, and I'm just copy I copied it. 
And look at this. This is at an all-time high. The fear factor is huge. And that, is, in fact, is giving us a bit of a cushion. Uh, you want to hold on a second? I got a little bit more <laughs> like I'll wrap it up. You can hold? Yes, I can hold. Okay, good. We'll be back in a moment, Sharpening folks. Your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hello, so we're back. Final segment. So let me just do this. Still got a bunch of questions came in. Yes, I just uh, posted BLNK, uh, Blink. Nice move up, leg B. So that's what I'm saying, that there are so many oversold stocks, even if they just have a decent, uh, just a, a balance, that's a possibility. So so what I wanted to say, Mike, is this. Are you still there? Yes, I am. Okay. So I want you to just put the package together, because I think the question that you have is a question that all of us, I mean, I have the same question as you. So right. the pattern that I drew in for the Dow is this arch formation. It's vying between a V-shaped pattern and the arch formation. If I go to the S&P, I drew this in, uh, I don't know, was it you that asked me the question? I think so, uh, about the S&P, and I drew this in, and I said, I'm looking at this as a bounce that has to break above the um, Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, and then I think we're looking at the potential for an arch formation that can go to a lowercase m, another arch formation, and that until we get a substantial climb into the high 46, 4680s or 4700 in the S&P, I'm sticking with this, that I think we're in this big rectangle formation in a trading band between certain levels. Now we've got some, oops, there was a, the wrong one. Between certain levels with good support, 
but also a cap on the upside. And that cap on the upside is really the big thing that I'm talking about because I believe that we can go sideways. I'm trying to get rid of this here. Go sideways for a little while. And then there's the big test that will come sometime a little later in February or maybe early in March. And that should give us the trigger for a much bigger rally. That's my thinking. And until that changes, and I'll give you the number, as I say, 40, 46, up in the 4650, 4660 area in the S&P, that'll be really good action. But if we stall here, there is support. We saw that today, but at the same time, there's a cap on the upside. So I think patience is a virtue. That's what you've got to have right now. And at the right. same time, think about these different sectors that I'm keeping in the I hope that helps. Yes. Thank you, Basil. Thank you very much for calling. Folks, have a great day.